Honeywell is active here in Poland since many years with the Tactical Advanced Land Navigator Talon. It's very well known in the military vehicle applications. The first project we won was uh, KTO Orozomak. Uh, since then uh, we are on several other platforms uh, with our navigation units uh, like the Poprat and the RAC with uh, the recent programs. Uh, we have formed pretty early in the game a um, cooperation with, with WZE, a PGZ company. Uh, they provide uh, system components since many years. Yesterday we signed a contract, a manufacturing license agreement, which uh, allows um, WZE to produce uh, parts of the inertial navigation unit. This is the next step of our industrial cooperation which we are doing here in country and we would like to improve that in the future to have a local uh, repair and maintenance center for the talent here and uh, have local production participation in uh, getting these units built. Other projects at the horizon. Uh, the most important I would like to mention is the M346 where Honeywell got two engines on. Uh, this gives also a good opportunity to uh, think about uh, a local uh, logistics support uh, scheme uh, after the warranty period is over. So it's still some time to work on it, but that's something we are thinking about. We also performed a technology workshop here where we invited uh, numerous com companies to present our whole product portfolio and to express our willingness to cooperate very deeply in the Polish market for the future. And uh, by presenting all the capabilities we have in our um, uh, company, we uh, found a few subjects which are of immediate interest and we are working now on bilateral uh, discussions uh, to get this uh, interest uh, formed into real projects. And there is some interest, there is some activity going on, but I don't want to go in detail at the moment on, the, on those. What I can tell is uh, that uh, in real projects where the cooperation is actually running, we are very satisfied with the professionalism of the companies we are working with. Uh, the uh, educational level of the people, of the engineers, is very good. The uh, way how we deal uh, is very cooperative and it's going very nice. Where I see fields of improvement is that uh, some of the projects uh, take a very long time until they get decided and get moving forward. But uh, when the decision is made, when the decision is clear, and uh, the goal is clear, it's very nice to work here in this country and it's very nice to cooperate with the uh, people here uh, in local industry. Honeywell is providing uh, satellite communications uh, with the whole spectrum, starting with the hardware in uh, the vehicles, in the uh, aircraft, in the helicopters, uh, up to the uh, satellite communication service so that uh, you can uh, get out of one hand the complete solution to connect your battlefield, to connect even to your uh, governmental aircraft uh, in a way that you have a secure uh, communication which is working worldwide so that you uh, can really have your command and control uh, system in a way which is unprecedented and uh, which you can't get in another in a different technology than the satellite communication. The good news is that the uh, satellite communication which we provide, the service we provide, is running also with uh, installed hardware from our competitors uh, and we can uh, provide the service for that independent who is providing the hardware in the uh, aircraft or in the vehicle. However, we have a few solutions, especially for helicopters, which are uh, higher bandwidth and more secure because it's very difficult to get the information through the rotor blades to the satellite if you don't do it in the proper way. And I think the uh, Polish armed forces can benefit very widely from such a capability connecting their forces uh, independent where they are located worldwide uh, with the headquarters and the command system.